Hey guys, my name is Nick. I'm a Microsoft Certified Expert Administrator. Create a lot of content for MSPs. And in today's video, I'm going to be going over the plans and pricing for Microsoft Defender ATP. This recently became standalone in the CSP program. So I wanted to go over some of the potential bundles that you could offer as part of this solution and the licensing models that you would want to follow. So traditionally, this was only part of the higher level Windows plans or Office plans like Windows 10 E5, which is $11 per seat per month, plus a baseline level Office 365 plan as well too. You could have done something like Business Premium or Microsoft 365 Business with this one, but traditionally you wouldn't pay the bundled cost. It was just too expensive for the kinds of services that you were getting. And not a lot of people I know in the SMB market are running on Windows 10 Enterprise, which is what this package particularly gives you. The other way in which you could license this is with the Microsoft 365 E5 package. But again, for this market, it does come with a lot of features as part of the licensing packages. For this market, though, genuinely nobody's going to get that price point if you're thinking about a company of 1 to 50 users in the SMB space. So traditionally not something that you would want to go after. So like I mentioned, the CSP program has introduced this as standalone for 520 a user a month. So you can begin to look at bundling it with your traditional business plans that you sell today, like Microsoft 365 Business Standard, which is 1250 a month. So if you bundle this on, you're looking at a solution of 1770 per user per month. And this does include all the EDR features and everything else that you would want in the sense of using this, this solution to bundle on as part of an enhanced security offering. It does include Windows Defender as an AV as well too. So if you're looking at multiple solutions potentially from third-party providers to give to your customers for this, you could simplify it with that model. The one that's more attractive for me though particularly is Microsoft 365 Business Premium. It is $20 a user a month to bring it up to $25.20, but it does include a lot of enhanced security features as well as Microsoft Intune, which really enhances the speed of your deployment when you think about this as a solution. Enrolling devices in Windows Defender ATP is a toggle if they're already enrolled into Intune. So ease of, ease of deployment becomes a really simple matter when you think about this as a holistic solution. Last one I wanted to bring up that's a little bit attractive to me as well too, if you're looking to upsell on security, is Microsoft 365 E5 Security. It's $12 per user per month, but it includes all of these features that normally standalone, I'm reflecting here, are quite a bit. So you have Azure ATP, which can extend to your local domain controller for additional security and insights. You have ATP Plan 2, which does threat analytics and automated investigation and response. You have Cloud App Security, which is Microsoft's CASB solution to detect third-party applications and prevent access of corporate data um, and use of DLP policies for that. You have Azure ADP 2, which includes things like the identity protection for risky users or risky sign-ins. That combines that with conditional access policies for enhanced security, as well as the PIM solution for privilege identity management. And then lastly, obviously, you have Microsoft Defender ATP as well, too. So you're looking at a total of $28.20 uh, that you're getting for $12 a user a month. So I think it's a really good deal, especially if you're going to look to adopt these features here as part of a security solution. And I think you could do that in today's remote workforce based off of how much this does for you as a solution. Honestly, Azure ADP 2 alone uh, with all of this combined is a, is a very powerful offering. So you would still obviously have to combine it with a base level solution, but I think it's a, a great fit for a lot of people who are looking to bundle in a lot of security, especially for people who are working remote. One last thing I want to mention here, there are some limitations if you're running an operating system with Windows 10 Pro instead of Windows 10 Enterprise. This is traditionally why they made you go on to the higher level base level planes because they enforced Windows 10 Enterprise as the OS. But some of the attack surface reduction rules won't be applicable. You won't be able to configure them, or if you do, they won't take effect because you don't have Windows 10 Enterprise, which includes all these features that you see here for these additional rules that you could potentially enhance the security of the endpoints. So just keep that in mind. That's the biggest difference if you're looking to bundle in a business level plan that includes 
uh, Pro OS versus the Enterprise. So some final thoughts here. When I think about this as a solution, there are trials available. If you want to test it out, you can apply for Microsoft to approve a trial in your tenant. If for some reason they do not approve that, you could always purchase from a CSP provider a couple licenses just to test on a couple devices. The most you'll lose, you know, is you know, 10 to $15 for testing, which I feel like that's totally worth it. Um, just to see the solutioning compared to other EDRs and things like that. And also you can get uh, labs available at the website URL I, I mentioned here, cdx.transform.microsoft.com. This is where you can sign in with your partner center credentials and have access to the My Experiences section. And there's a few Microsoft Defender ATP labs that you can run through in there as well. Additionally, when you get this up and running, you'll have evaluation labs. You can perform on test VMs that you spin up directly within the tenant itself, the, your own tenant if you have a trial or if you're, you're running a couple licenses. So you can see the full solution from beginning to end, from detection to remediation to the automated response and all of that. So I would definitely check it out to try to test it out. I'll be coming out with more videos here in the future to go over the solution in depth, um, just piece by piece because there's a lot to it. So please like or subscribe if you guys want to see more content related to Microsoft and also for the MSP space. We look forward to those new videos coming out in the future here. Thanks, guys. Have a great day.